Designing spring summer 21, it was an absolute nightmare. Our sample room in Italy was closed. My sample room in Los Angeles was closed. Even putting together looks in the last two weeks is actually not allowed in Los Angeles. We're not allowed to be in our offices. We're not an essential business. I had to set up a tent outside. Uh, in our parking lot. We had everyone tested almost daily. Everyone was in masks and shields. Um, it was very hard to be creative uh, in that environment uh, in terms of putting together looks and <clears throat> asking the girl to walk and, and, and you know putting things together. But it was like that through the entire design process. You know, I didn't have seamstresses to sew the clothes. They were all sewing at home. Uh, the, uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, the fabric mills were in Italy were closed, so we were late with fabric. Our, our atelier in, uh, outside of Milan was closed. It was, it was incredibly difficult. In terms of what looks right right now, you know, I just finished designing Spring Summer 21. And the last thing I want to see are serious clothes. I think we need an escape. You know, I think we want to smile. And I know that what's going on in our world right now doesn't make us want to smile, but that's why I think that the customer is going to walk in the store in spring and they're, they're going to respond to clothes that make them happy, but clothes that make them feel secure. I would say that ultimately I am very optimistic about fashion post-pandemic. I mean, self-adornment is part of human nature. Uh, you know, wanting to have something that someone else doesn't have is part of human nature. Wanting to communicate something about yourself through fashion, through the things you wear, is part of human nature. I mean, think about it. You know, if after the, the pandemic of 1918 and after World War One, what did we have? We had the Roaring Twenties and it all came back.